<clears throat> all right shalom first and foremost of all praise honor, and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim magar kodash the bar the apostle is a great most one teaching us the one percent truth according to barmer well and peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of israel take the spirit and power of yahweh shema shai Going into the Lord's willing edifying lesson on how <clears throat> the title of the lesson is The Lord Sees Everything. The Lord, Yahweh Shema Washai, sees everything. The Heavenly Father is seeing everything that is going going on down here upon this planet Earth. Uh, as the scriptures talk about how, you know, a sparrow does not fall out of the sky, at least the Heavenly Father sanctions it. You see, the Heavenly Father is in control and he knows everything that is going on down here upon the planet Earth. You see, Jeremiah 23 and 24, it says, Can any hide himself in secret places? That I shall not see him. See, this is the Heavenly Father's earth. You know, he knows every uh, detail of it. You see, even those who are, you know, in a building, a man-made house, right? As oftentimes, you know, people think they're alone in the house and they're able to commit wickedness. You see, the Heavenly Father sees that. The Heavenly Father is watching you. You are under a 24-hour uh, surveillance. Surveillance. You know? And that's a good title, right? 24-hour uh, surveillance, you know, is going on. It says, Can any hide himself in secret places that I should not see him? Saith the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai. So the Heavenly Father sees all the injustice that's going on. The Heavenly Father sees, you know, the plans of the wicked elites and what they are intending to do down here upon the planet Earth. I mean, you know, when you read. In Second Kings, right? <laughs> Even uh, Elisha knew the plans of the kings, right? When you read Second Kings, the seventeenth chapter, and that's the reason why they rolled up on Elisha. You know, if Elisha knew uh, what was going on, you know how much more uh, Yahweh Shema was shy. You see how much more. Uh, does the Heavenly Father uh, know and understand what's going on down here upon his planet Earth? Right? This is um just to get that account, you know, real quick. This is uh, Second Kings, right? Six, and I believe you can start at verse uh, uh, 11, 11 and 12, right? Therefore, the heart of the king of Syria was sore troubled for this thing, and he called his servant and said unto him, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? You see, because he was having, uh, you know, you can read the count, right? His plans kept getting uh, uh, un unraveled. His plans weren't working, so he thought he had a spy amongst his people. And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchambers. Right? And how did the prophets, a.k.a. the seers, know? How did Elisha know what, what was the king of Syria saying in his bedchambers? Yahweh by Shema Washai. You see, the Heavenly Father revealed those things onto Elisha to warn our king at that time. So we can have the one up on the enemy. And that's the same thing that the Heavenly Father is doing with us today. You see, the Heavenly Father is giving, giving us the one up 
on the councils of the wicked elites and what they plan to do, you know, in these last days. You see, this is on um, Psalms uh, 94, right? And verse 8, understand ye brutish among the people and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that plants, he that plant, plant the ear, shall he not hear? Right, twenty four hour surveillance. You see, he that created the ear, you know, that created the the very uh, function for you able to hear speech, hear sound, right, to interpret uh, uh, your uh, someone's voice. The heavenly Father, should she should he not know what's going on? You see, in Esau, Elam, and his God complex, that's why he wants to record everything. He wants to be able to hear everything that's going on down here upon the planet Earth. Because he knows the Heavenly Father can. The Heavenly Father hears the thoughts of men. You know, he hears your thoughts. Not only the words that you speak, but your thoughts. You see, the Most High looketh at the, the heart, the inward man. You see? Um, just real quick, you know, just a quick precept on that, you know, try to, uh, try to get these precepts, more precepts and speaking, right? St. Uh, Jeremiah 17 and 10, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins. Your reins is your int intent, right? So the Lord can search your mind, your heart. He will write a lot, which means your mind. I try the reins. He, he's trying us. Our, our intent is being tested through our fiery trials that we go through, right? Even to give every man according to his way and according to the fruit of his doing. So the Heavenly Father uh, is going to judge everyone. You know, everything that's being done is being recorded as the records of everything that uh, anyone has done their sins, their victories over sin, over temptation, you see, are all being recorded. Psalms 94 and 9. He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? You see? Shall he not see? Shall he not know? <laughs> shall the Heavenly Father not know what's going on down here upon the earth? You see, um, this is Proverbs, right? 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So the Heavenly Father is beholding the evil and the good. So not only is the Heavenly Father looking at the plans of the wicked elites, his eyes are upon you, the nation of Israel. You see, as when you read in Amos 9 and uh, 8, it says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. You know, this is talking about, you know, in today's time, America, right? But this sinful kingdom, when you read in Deuteronomy, I believe, uh, let me just type in eyes and land. I think it's Deuteronomy uh I want to say 12 and 11, 11 and 12, yep. A land, right, Deuteronomy 11 and 12, a land which the Lord thy God care for, the eyes of the Lord God are always upon it from the beginning of the year, even on to the end of the year. You see, the Heavenly Father's eyes were always on, you know, this land of Israel, but today you can you can uh, imply this sinful kingdom as America, right? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not early destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. And the house of Jacob that is not going to be utterly destroyed is the remnant, you know, in this time of grace that we've been given you know, they realize that they're under a uh, constant uh, surveillance. You know, I hope I'm saying that word wrong, right? <laughs> wrong. Uh, constant uh, su under surveillance, right? Under uh, under watch. You know, they, they realize that. 
and they realize that they're going to have to give a account for the works that they have done down here upon the earth, you see? And they're moving, they're walking in a certain way, knowing that everything is being recorded, right? This is um Second Corinthians 5 and 10, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. And how would the Heavenly Father know what you've done down here upon the earth? By the, by the fact that he can see, that he can record, that he's recording everything that's going on, right? Whether it be good or whether it be bad. So this is a stern warning for us as well. You know, just as the heathen are being watched, it's a stern warning for us. This will be the last one and we'll close it out. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You see, as we are constantly being watched, you know, we're constantly under surveillance, you know, you know we're, we're constantly... You know, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're being watched. You see, the supervisors, the angels of Yah by Shema Vashai, the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, you know, Slaki, if I didn't say that before, are, are constantly watching us, you know, constantly looking at our every move, you know. So, uh, continue to do that which is right, continue to serve the Lord and fear and trembling. And know that the Heavenly Father is going to give a just reward, you know, when he sends his only begotten son back, Yahweh Shai. And we'll close out on that. This is uh, Revelations uh, chapter 22, uh, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man, uh, to give every man, uh, as his work shall be, right? So we're looking to see the reward of mercy, the kingdom of heaven. With that, shall one.